as I was getting into playing with bands and so forth and, and sort of finding my way and learning how to write, learning how to compose, as well as play, be a better guitarist, um, you know, the, the 70s was a, a really pivotal stage, I think, in rock and roll music. And I was very fortunate to be there and be a part of that. Uh, a great time in rock and roll music when bands like Kareem and, and uh, you know, Zeppelin obviously emerged and changed everything. And that spawned a whole bunch of, you know, the British Invasion and all these other bands and America got into the mix and started uh, producing their own bands. And then it became, uh, then that sort of morphed in the 80s and, uh, you know, the, the technical guitarists came along and it, it, it became sort of a, a pissing contest, you know. And uh, and that's where I kind of, you know, we Dockney evolved and we had some success and we were kind of in the middle of that. And I felt very, uh, you know, sort of compelled to keep up with the Joneses, so to speak, and, you know, play faster than the next guy and all these sorts of things. And guys like, uh, you know, Inge came along and influenced me and Eddie, even though they were my contemporaries, they still influenced me in a, in a huge way. So uh, uh, I actually had a solo that I did for, uh, uh, it was something I kind of worked out that I don't think I ever put on a record, but I showed it to Randy Rhodes and then uh, he ended up using it on an, on an Aussie thing, which I in turn got to re-record on a tribute to the Aussie song that I wrote the solo for. I don't know if that makes any sense, but what, I think it was, it was this thing.